Nathan, we've got a racetrack and we've got two really cool cars that in no way compete. Well, they're kind of both crossovers, right? Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of, but I have all-wheel drive and you have front-wheel drive. And I have a Super Turbo. Super Turbo. And you have... A Turbo Turbo. <laughs> So it's Super Turbo versus Turbo Turbo. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Now check it out, how cool is that? An inline four that's pretending to be a six because it's supercharged and turbocharged. Made it to unfortunately front wheel drive and an eight speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. Wow, look at that, it's got a vertical RPM gauge. Now that's something you don't see every day. Now Nathan's car has a lot of advantages. First of all, it's a BMW, so it's sporty. Second of all, it has over 100 more horsepower, actually more than 100 horsepower than this car, and it has all-wheel drive, but it is also a thousand pounds heavier. So on paper, that car should kill this car, but I'm thinking this is gonna be a good race. I'm gonna say the 2015 Swede will prevail over the German. According to BMW, this is a twin-powered V8, but more importantly, it puts out 445 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque way down at around 2,000 RPM. So, what does this have that this doesn't? Everything, all-wheel drive, which that doesn't have. Now, it does have an eight-speed automatic transmission, which this one has as well, but, I mean, come on, it's a BMW with a turbocharged V8. I'm feeling pretty confident. You know what else it doesn't have? What? $30,000 more for that beast. And it's worth every penny. I'm the underdog here, but I really think the super the super turbo can take Nathan's uh, turbo turbo. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> and that would be a no. chance there. No chance whatsoever. He was off the line like a scalded cat and this super turbo, even though it has both a supercharger and a turbocharger, and the thinking is that the uh, supercharger gives you power at the low RPMs and then the turbo does high RPMs, he took off like that. That was not even close. You know, Nathan, people comment, right? You're comparing cars that don't compete. Well, we know that. Obviously, we know that. Look, guys, we've been doing this for a long time, and this is what we like to tell you. Imagine that you're at a freeway on-ramp, and there's a light there, and you got a guy next to you. It could be any car, and you want to know if you can beat him. Well, we're helping you. It's real-world testing. It's not that hard. And not only that, it's really freaking fun. I mean, it really is fun. <laughs> oh, I get so frustrated, Nathan. So frustrated. Oh, uh, don't even worry about it. They all love us. Nathan, man, I have to say, as much as I want the little guy, the underdog doing, you just blew me away. Why is a monster? Yeah, once the turbo spooled up, this thing just took off. And here's the crazy part. BMW claims under five seconds, like 4.90 to 60, 4.9. That was Whoa, my average. Oh, that is fast up here at yeah. a mile above sea level. Okay, I still have high hopes for the Swede on the racetrack. So here we go, hot lap. All right, here we go, I'm gonna time them. Yes, it's not very scientific, but you know, we're within a second, so get over it. All right. Yes. 